Anissus here from Ytra and on this update I'm going to show you how I'm using MATLAB and the robotics toolbox to animate the Scarra robot from IBM. The model is 7545, this is the model of the robot and as you can see here I have the robotics toolbox on my screen. Uh, this is the website where you can download it, it has instructions, uh, has the downloading and installing instructions, the documentation. Um, it has a very cool PDF where it has all the um, instructions, the functions from the toolbox and how to use them and so on. So now if you go to MATLAB you can see here on my script. So I have this Kara robot and as you can see on the image this is a schematic of the robot. It has uh, three rotational degrees of freedom and one prismatic degree of freedom. So basically you have theta 1, theta 2, d3, and theta 4. Now coming back to the code, I first of all I set the robot limits here. So I get the maximum values for each angle and for uh, the prismatic joint. So the maximum angle, the minimum angle, so on and so forth. I have also a work envelope limit that I'll be discussing in more details in the next, on the next video. Uh, I have the Denevi Hattenberg parameters that I use for the forward and inverse kinematics. And then it comes to the usage of the robotics toolbox itself. So basically, we can define links for the robots. Uh, as you know, the Scare robot has four links, and here I'm using five because there's just a few details about how I use the uh, Denevi Hattenberg convention to generate the forward kinematics. I'm using uh, this L0, L0 link to generate the base frame to the first frame. Okay, it will be a little bit clearer on the code and on the animation on the screen when I, when I show it to you. So I have here five parameters. So they are basically as you can see here. The first is alpha, then A, then theta, then D. This is our, these are the four parameters from the Denevi Hartenberg convention. The last one is R and P. So basically if on, on this last parameter, if you use zero, it indicates that you have a rotational joint and if you use one, this is a prismatic joint. And standard means that you are using the standard Denevi Hartenberg convention. You can also use the modified one. But here we are using the default one. So after you have defined all the links from your robot, you basically generate a robot calling the robot function and you pass as arguments L0 until L4 and you get a Scara object. I mean, Scara is the name of the object, this is a robot object. I can also set the name and then I have here just a few settings for my figure that will be plotted on the screen. And then here, uh, what I'm doing is uh, I set a variable time and as time goes, I'm going to animate the X position as a sine wave. The Y position of my robot will be fixed in 0.4 meters and the Z position will also be a scale down sine wave. I'll show you on the animation. Then I do the inverse kinematics myself. Actually, this toolbox has a function called iKine. I K I N E. This deals with the inverse kinematics for the robot. I didn't really like it for me. My application was um, a little bit costly in, in computational cost terms. So I'm using this uh, pure mathematical and geometrical. Um, usage is pretty simple. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going in details and how I'm using it, it's just for you to know that I'm doing it by myself. And then in the end I have here the function plot from MATLAB and it can be used for this robot object and then I pass as arguments uh, a vector that has all the parameters that I need to use. So Basically, zero is a fixed angle, then I have theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, and the last zero here is 
theta 4 that I'm setting to 0. I can also do a three-dimensional plot where I have uh, only the px, py, and pz values uh, so you can see the trajectory of my robot. Then I do a pause and it goes really simple. So now let's run it and let's see how it works. So here you have the animation of the robot. So basically you have all the rotational joints and uh, at the last point the prismatic joint and in red you can see the points that you get plugged from uh, the trajectory. Uh, I can also rotate the screen so you can see how it is really moving and behaving. So this is a, a up view and you can see it goes in a straight line because y is fixed. I have x varying the sine wave and also z varying the sine wave. Also if I rotate here to show z you can see this behavior. Okay, and then the trajectory goes like a triangle. Uh, this is pretty simple to use. Uh, you can do it in real time. MATLAB is pretty fast doing that. And this is just to show you the concept and how to use this robotic toolbox. So in the next videos, I'll be showing you how I'm using it with my project. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how I'm mapping my uh, work envelope, so the human work envelope to a work envelope from the robot and then I will show how I'm integrating this code here in MATLAB uh, receiving data from the Teradex module and then doing the whole thing, getting the position of my arm and transmitting that to the code and then animating the movement of the robot. Okay, so I'll see you in the next videos, uh, stay tuned and goodbye.